Okay, you can film if you want. So, uh, Mayor John Biggs here with Councillor Asma Begum, the statutory deputy mayor, and we're here this this week to talk mainly about our budget. So, tomorrow in this chamber, we'll be discussing the council's annual budget, which is a big event in the life of the council. Um, always difficult, but the good news is that we are protecting uh, our frontline services. Uh, we're also going to continue to have one of the lowest council taxes in London, which is one of the lowest mm. in the country. And we're proud of the work we've done to protect people who are facing a very difficult year with uh, inflation, uh, with, with, with pressure on jobs, and with um, a really challenging time in the COVID, post-COVID period. So what we're going to focus on is the things that are important to local people. Um, so we're, we're investing more in adult social care, which is about caring for our elders. Uh, the growing numbers in town, it's mean that we need, we need more money. Uh, we're dealing with special education needs. A lot of people watching these programs will know that kids with special needs in schools can be really held up and kept behind. So we're going to focus, and Asma can tell us a bit about this, on making sure that our children are looked after in the schools. Uh, we're dealing with we're supporting carers, whether they are carers in families or professional carers in, for the for the care services in our community listening to what it is that matters to them so it's about community safety is one of the key priorities that lots of lots of local residents speak to us about and we are investing heavily within um, funding extra police officers as well as the services within that the mayor spoken about special educational needs we know we've got lots of our young people that are being held back because of having additional needs and we need to make substantial investments within that as well we support mother tongue teaching. I was very proud to be in Altabari Park recently to commemorate the, uh, the language masters. Obviously, the storm stopped us from holding the event at midnight. And uh, we continue to support mother tongue teaching in our community. We, we have a fund to support um, uh, organizations to, with their setup funding. I'm happy to go away and look at whether we can support them longer. Uh, crime and drugs, what's in your budget? Okay, I'm really pleased you asked that because, of course, the other part of the youth service conversation is sometimes you go to places in the borough and it's as if the borough is full of crime and, and, and challenges and antisocial behaviour. There is a problem, and we spend more than most councils on crime and antisocial behaviour. We pay for extra police officers. We have a, um, a community safety service with, um, uh, with officers who patrol. We work with housing landlords. But another part of this, of course, is that most of our young people are pretty well behaved, and we need to stand up for our young people and make sure that they have the opportunities to get on with their lives. But if people aren't getting on with their lives, and it's obviously a lot of this is about drugs, then we need to make sure that people are really held to account. So we have a, a big crime and antisocial behaviour service. However big it is, um, there'll be problems in places, but we have achieved a lot through our, our task, tasking down the last few years. It just happens that that was what Asthma was focusing on, uh, before she became the Children's League member, so she can maybe add a bit more. And, and it's also about providing support as well for those. If we speak about crime and antisocial behaviour and we link it to drugs in particular, we need to ensure that we've got services in place for those people that want to come off all of that and they are supported to get off and get treatment and respite so that they can behave as as a law-abiding citizen in the borough as well. So it's, it's twofold to it. It's not just the community safety aspect of it and how you tackle it, it's also providing them support as well to be a good citizen in Tower Hamlets. How do you increase police? The, well, I, I suppose the good news is that we still pay for police officers, it's become more expensive, but we still pay for a team of police officers both directly by the council, also through town, its homes. But on top of that, um, I think the good news is that the, the Conservative government, they slashed police numbers in London and they have now realised that was a mistake and they have been increasing numbers again. So we do have more officers. We don't think there are enough officers on the street, though. They spend too much of their lives driving around in, light, in, in blue light cars. Do you have we, any plan to set up the CCTV footage as you know, CCTV yep. in the remote areas, you know? Okay, so we have one of the biggest numbers of CCTV cameras in, in the country, in Tower Hamlets. Um, and we're replacing all of our existing cameras with new state-of-the-art ones with digital technology, a bit like your telephone, um, which will record good evidence in the event of there being crime. We're also looking at hotspots in the borough. And again, we'll be talking about the manifesto soon. We want to talk about how we can make people feel safer. It may be about uh, women walking in the borough who don't feel safe. It may be about parents worried about their children. So we want to improve lighting and uh, CCTV in parts of the borough where it's going to make a difference. It's amazing. So many people want CCTV. Um, it's not a magic answer to all questions, but it is a very powerful part of what we can do to keep people safe.
My last question is, what is the total budget, you know, the total amount of the budget? The total budget, well, it depends how you look at it, but the, the core budget's about 350, 360 million pounds a year. Uh, but on top of that, we have the housing budget. On top of that, we have the budget that goes to the schools. On top of that, we have a big capital budget as well, which is what we use to buy houses and build houses. And we're replacing a swimming pool down in Shadwell as well. So, you know, uh, the budget is, um, the core budget we talk about tomorrow night at the council is about 350, 360 million pounds. Okay, uh, Mr. Mayor.